Good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is your real tour, Hugo, with 10 essential things you need to know about home inspections. As always, thank you so much for tuning in and just participating in the live. It is my pleasure to bring you content that you find valuable. So if you or anyone you know likes this type of content, feel free and share the live with them on your platform of choice. We're going to be on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, X, and Twitch.com. Also, a few other nice platforms that we're going to be adding to the mix. Go ahead and check out my bio, that site. I will be making new additions to that link site over there. So go ahead and check that out. Make sure that you are staying up to date to all the latest news that's happening with me and uh, what we got going on. We got the blog up there. We got the, uh, what else? We got the MLS update up there. We got my website up there. We got the value calculator up there. So really cool things. But today we're not here to talk about that. What we're here to talk about is the things that you need to know about a home inspection. So number one, what is a home inspection? Home inspection is like a checkup for your house. It it's when an expert looks at the house's systems and structure to make sure everything is in good shape. The home inspection is a superficial analysis of the home that basically goes through the top to bottom of the property, it looks at major electrical, plumbing, and uh, waste systems, and uh, makes sure that they're at least accounted for. It will give you a bill of health, so to speak, of the property, letting you know what systems are at what point of their lifespan, um, and a Home inspector, more than anything, can give you an, an even keel judgment on what they've seen in regards to certain repairs and remedies and what may be something that you might face in your property. So again, it's all relative to the experience of the home inspector. So choosing a home inspector that you trust or that has a lot of valuable experience and can speak to these things in a conscious, compassionate, confident way makes a big difference. Number two, why it's important. Think of it like this. You wouldn't buy a car without checking under the hood, right? A home inspection helps you avoid any surprises that could cost you a lot of money after you move in. And that's what we're trying to avoid you. We're trying to avoid you those high ticket items that might come back and bite you in the behind. We want to make it as clear and transparent as possible to the state of the property so that if you do buy the property and do decide to keep going with the contract, you're fully aware of what you're purchasing. Number three, who performs the home inspection? A professional home inspector does the inspection. They have tools and knowledge to find things that most of us wouldn't even think to check. And that's truly where the difference lies. Companies like Insight Inspections, a part of the Lung Foster Group of Property Management Services and all the different subsidiary services that we have, they are exceptional when it comes to their home inspections. They can give you quick analysis, a report, and also a very flexible schedule and process for scheduling. These are all things that matter when it comes to a home inspector. How is it to work with them? How costly is it to work with them? How does it feel when you work with them? These are all things to stay on top of. Uh, number four, what inspectors look at from the roof, heating and cooling systems, electrical panels, plumbing, insulation, and much more. They're like detectives for the house. And they truly are. I've had the pleasure of speaking with many home inspectors, and they're all very thorough very detail-oriented, and very diligent in what they do. Uh, I've had the pleasure of working with great home inspectors, and uh, they really made the job fun because a good home inspector should be able to explain everything to you and let you know those questions that you might have as a buyer. They shouldn't make you feel rushed or shouldn't make you feel like you're asking silly questions. This is your time. You're paying for it, so you should take advantage of it. Number five, how long does it take? 
A typical home inspection can take anywhere from two to three hours. It depends on the size and age of the house, but it's a, a bit of a time investment that really goes a long way. And really setting aside that two to three hour block can be a little daunting with the way the market is. I just looked at a few stats um, earlier today and yeah, very little inventory available, even with the new inventory that's going out there. So a home inspection can sometimes run three hours. You might have to schedule it with a few other showings to get it done. But the important thing is that you feel good about what you're purchasing and that you full well what you're getting into. Because more than anything, if we can do nothing else more for you than be transparent and honest about what you're purchasing, the home inspection is the best way to protect yourself from purchasing something more costly than you expect. What happens during the inspection? Uh, you can be there with the inspector watching as they go through the house. They'll explain what they're looking at and why it matters. It's a great learning experience about your potential new home. And if you purchase the report, they can run a full report on what their findings are. Otherwise, you're going to sit there and have to remember it or take notes. But either way, get the information, get the report, get the knowledge in your head and Get to know your property because this hopefully will be the home that you're going to be moving into. Number seven, reading the inspection report. After the inspection, you'll get a report with all the details. It's like a snapshot of your house's health, showing what's good and what might need some work. And again, it is categorized in probably three different categories, or depending on the scale that they want to use, it could vary on numbers. But at the end of it, it's going to be either in good health within lifespan, in poor health within lifespan, in bad health within lifespan, or in bad health out of lifespan. It's really a few other ways you can probably break it down, but at the end of it, most reports I've seen have photographs, have a description, as well as a category key to let you know, hey, this is where this item lands in your home, and maybe something of priority if you need to address it quickly or not. So there are always extra notes that the inspector will put in there too. So it's always great to get comfortable with the inspector so that they know to write those notes in there for you. Number eight, how to handle issues. If the inspector finds problems, don't panic. You can use the report to negotiate with the seller who might pay for repairs or lower the sales price. Now, I caveat that by making sure that you, you of course, know because you're working with a realtor that if you are negotiating the home inspection, you have already put in an offer that has terms that allow you to negotiate on a home inspection. You don't have terms that are right to cancel. You have terms that are right to negotiate, at least. So that's one thing. You need to already go into the offer knowing that this is something that you possibly might negotiate on. So that's more than anything a big mistake that some people make when they talk to me is that they'll say, oh, I made an offer this way, but it's not really what they're saying. It's you know, they're doing is something different than what they're saying. But at the end of it, what you need to know is that the negotiation process, there might be a hundred things wrong with the property, but the negotiation process is to address the top things and really try to negotiate with the seller on those. Because those might be the most important things that we can get anything on. It, there's no point in arguing light bulbs. We have to argue bigger ticket items. But again, that could all be daunting depending on the situation and the seller. So at the end of the day, the report is there for the buyer's benefit, not the seller's. That's why we instruct the buyer to select what company to work with, what company to schedule. And we really just give options for them to look through. Number, and speaking of options, pricing is a big option. Number nine, cost of home inspections. The cost varies, usually ranging from 300 to 500. It's an upfront cost, but it's an investment that could save you thousands down the road. And really, $500, I, I get it. People have commented to me, hey, I'm going to be losing $500. You could be losing $300,000. $500,000, a million dollars. At a certain point, you're being uh, penny wise and dollar foolish. Peace of mind 
matters more sometimes than $500, especially when it comes to such a big ticket item that you might not be 100% sure on. 10, the last one for tonight. Final advice. Always choose a certified and well-reviewed inspector. It's all about having peace of mind that you're making a smart and safe investment. So again, taking the time to learn from the best and get yourself involved with the best with the home inspectors and a team of people that can help you like a realtor. And just knowing that this is something that's in your pocket that you can use to protect yourself, to not be scared of what's to come or you not knowing anything about a foreign property. You can have a clean bill of health for this property immediately first time out. So it's a great way to make sure that you are being knowledgeable in your purchase and taking initiative to protect yourself. It's really what it comes down to. If you're just joining us tonight, we were talking about 10 essential things you need to know about home inspections. The home inspection is one of the easiest ways to protect yourself. If you can negotiate a home inspection, do it. Keep it and try to hold on to it and value it. Get it done as soon as possible and get the report or don't get the report, but either way, get the information. Because in this day and age with properties moving as fast as they are, you have to be as safe as you can be. And a home inspection at least will be one less thing to worry about. So I know for many that can really make the difference. And I appreciate all of you trying to make a difference for yourselves by tuning into this and trying to learn more about real estate every day. So if you have any more questions, want to hire me to work with you, want to get personal advice about your particular situation, want to consult, want to have questions, you can always talk to me. Don't be afraid just because I'm on these lives that you can't reach out to me. 240-389-4846 is my phone number. My email is hugo at lnf.com and my website is yourrealtorhugo.com. As always, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to make your acquaintance and to have these lives for you. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free and leave them on your platform of choice. I will see you tomorrow for another live, definitely a lot earlier than today. And um, tomorrow's live is going to be about offers and counter offers, navigating the negotiation process. So if you're interested about what some tactics are for negotiating real estate deals. Tomorrow's a pretty good class. Uh, Tomorrow's already Thursday. Wow. Hang in there, guys. We're almost there. (laughs) Take care. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great night. Get some rest, and I'll uh, catch you tomorrow. Take care. Be safe.